so I'm gonna work on my Ford Escape Hybrid again today. Um, I changed out the air conditioning heater blower motor about six months ago. I bought it off Rock Auto, and unfortunately about three months later it started making the same ticking noise. So I got around to emailing them, and they're great. They said, just buy another one, it's got a lifetime warranty, buy one, send us back the defective one, we'll be happy to refund your money. I said, okay, great. So here we are. The problem is that it's up in here, and it's really hard to get to because this seat is in the way. So what I'm gonna do differently today is I'm gonna take this seat out because I think I can take the seat out in just a couple minutes. And room to work. So this is a 15 millimeter socket and I've got a little socket adapter for my impact driver. I get the ones in the back now. Um, lift this out of here. Sixteenth bit will do this. Um, I've got some other wires that are zip tied up here, and it's actually a pretty good time for some of these to come out. So let's see what we got here. to do uber in this vehicle so i had an uber sign and eventually the it just wore off so that cable can come out now all right so first things first there is a connector here let's see if i can remember how to get this out So there's a little. All right. And then there's another one in the back that needs to come out. And there's a little. All right. So there's a little push tab there. And on this one, these two have to be pushed in. So you want to get that out of the way because that gives you space to work. So now, I've got one. and I'm gonna go get a 5 16th bit uh, thing so I'll be right back so these screws are actually 8 millimeter not 5 16th so I'm gonna use an 8 millimeter now I bought this because the screw in the back is darn near next to impossible to get to so I'm hoping that this will simplify my life I think actually the camera's in my way but we'll see Sorry, 
And I can tell you, this is a whole lot easier with that seat out because I can actually lay on the floor in here and that gives me space to maneuver. This was a really, really unpleasant job the last time because I was laying upside down. And that's the easiest way to do this. I'm sure this car is assembled with with that fan first. All right. When you pull this out, one of the things you want to do is you want to keep track of where this stuff comes in and how it comes out of here because it's kind of a pain in the butt to put back. So. You know, and this feels like it's in the way too. So I'm gonna just get it out of the way. There we go. All right, so this comes with it. why it was ticking um bearings are a little bit loose so that's probably it all right so when you receive this this is how it's packed that's your new gasket this goes on here like this and this keys to this spot here and these holes need to line up all right, this is going to go like, well, that means that's probably upside down. No, maybe not. Just don't know what this is for it doesn't go that way so whatever it is we're gonna leave it alone and then this just goes down in here thing that we're going to pop out and the rest of it looks like this yeah these bearings are tighter so I think maybe it was bad bearings no telling so at this point it needs to go back together and this is a little bit tricky so you want to set yourself up first. Um, right. I recommend that you put it together like this and then this part here needs to go up to this little drain tube 
or whatever it is. And I'm gonna just do some due diligence here and look up in here. Making sure there's nothing that could be scraping the fan and making a ticking noise. All right. It will just sort of hang there, at which point you can insert these. So I've got one in. I'm gonna move the camera. So, all that's left is this screw back here that is exceptionally difficult to reach. So I've got it started with my hand, and now I'm going to use this to just get up in here. So this goes, this white cap goes to the speed control for the fan, and then this is the motor for the fan that goes in the front. And then there's a little tuck in there, and I'm going to replace these. So, but the dirty work down here is done. And I'm sorry if you guys couldn't see much. I really did try my best. So. That's your speed control for the fan, and the blower motor power is right there. So at this point, I'm going to extract myself from here and start putting the car back together. All right, so next, I'm going to put the seat back in. It goes on these two bolts, or studs, and then this connector gets connected. I'm going to set my tools up in advance. not on.
right, and this is a lot easier to connect while the seat's loose. If the bolts don't seem to line up, just lift the seat release. All right, and I'm gonna start with the back and tighten those. this back and tighten these. All right, that's almost all there is to it. Uh, I'm gonna go get a wrench so I can tighten these by hand and make sure they're nice and tight. I'll be right back. Right, I couldn't find a ratchet I was looking for, but this'll work. I just want to make sure these are nice and tight. Yep, good. All right, so moment of truth. Let's uh, see if it runs. like it should be so that's all there is to it this is done